Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, how uh, to set up uh, auth module, okay, authentication system in Nuxt.js using the auth module. Okay, so let me first go to my project, my project in here. So this is my project. Okay and I have already opened the project in here so this is the folder project structure as you can see I have implement, uh, uh, set up the project using my NUX CLI NUX JS and to set up you know I think you already know but uh, let me just show you uh, if I go to NUX website and on the guide uh, in the installation structure as you can see first you have to actually install the npx okay this npx you have to install this npx globally then using this npx you can create oh first of all you need to node.js okay first you install node.js then npx then using the npx command you can create uh, you can create your next project using this by using this you will uh, during the creation of the project it will ask you to different things okay so next chase i like next chase because next as you can see if i go to the next chase uh, it says that uh, it's next chase is a vue.js framework okay next chase is the vue.js framework for desktop application next chase presets all the configuration needed to make the, your development for VJS application enjoyable. That means uh, whatever uh, maximum of the things uh, that are needed to create a, a project in a well structured way. In case of VJS project using the VCLI, uh, you will get maximum of the thing preset. Okay, using this uh, Nux JS framework, Nux JS. Okay, it also have server side rendering. It has many features and if you want you can mm, show see them here in this video it will ask you and show you different kinds of things okay how it works as you can see view route you get view js uh, view to view router view x the server render okay view meta view meta means uh, seo friendly it is it is seo friendly okay these are the features as you can see uh, write view files dot view if, if you uh, okay it's just a view actually it's just a view framework okay you are using vjs but you are extending the functionality and code is splitting server side rendering that means you don't have to uh, if you want you can use uh, express js or you can integrate this with in php framework but uh, it's built in server it has a built-in server side rendering it is you it use node.js to create this server okay by using this node.js uh, by using the server side rendering you can do all this uh, server rendering stuff okay and powerful routing system with asynchronous data okay uh, you create a file in the pages directory then automatically all the route will be created for you but in Vue.js you have to manually create the routes okay and show them the path but in case of uh, Nux.js it will automatically if you create the file according to the file mm, pay, file name it will automatically create the route for you static file share serving okay uh, e es2 2015 transpiration these are the features Uh, the binding and modifying of the JS and CS managing head and element it means that uh, you can define your head tag uh, title meta on specific element in specific, specific page what are the that's why it is uh, uh, that's why it is SEO friendly okay then Hot module replacement preprocessor. It has the preprocessor. If you want, you can use 
HTTP push headers ready uh, extending with module architecture everything is modular here that means uh, for example this Vuex uh, Vuex is also used in a modular approach okay. and you can see different features schema installation routing use async data asynchronous asynchronous data means um, whenever the uh, component loads before the loading of the component okay before loading the component you can uh, fetch something from the server you can create request and give request and uh, fetch something from the server and uh, load your uh, load your component data with this this is used in the pages directory okay view component assets uh, if you have any assets you can uh, give the link there and the plugins plugins are basically uh, if you want to implement different kinds of uh, javascript libraries you can implement them using these plugins directory you just create files here and it will do that modules UX store okay UX store modules as you can see everything is modular uh, member of agile term that means to quickly bootstrap your project reinventing the wheel common task like Google Analytics quality and usability different kinds of things okay these are the different kinds of modules you can use here as you can see next http uh, light and universal way to make http request based on this uh, next axios to make a uh, secure and easy axios integration with next js uh, pwa that means progressive web application you can create your progressive web application support it, it supports it supports next js supports the progressive web app solution and the authentication basically i have used this or this authentication module auth module okay to create my authentication system and using this authentication system you can uh, authenticate you can log in with login and register using uh, facebook google uh, and fire github and also laravel passport okay so let's first start the project as you can see right now i am in this is my project and and I am in my terminal as you can see this is my terminal I am using uh, this is actually a terminator it calls a terminal emulator actually this, then, this is an emulator to emulate the terminal terminal and it has different kinds of functionality so right now I am in my project right now as you can see this is my project directory and I start my project npm run dev okay and in another terminal i have as you can see i i have used mongodb to re uh, restore my data in database service mongodb status so mongodb is activated here is active now so just start the server using mongo and you can see show dbs these are my databases okay and as you can see it is compiling all the things what database i have used here let me see uh, in my env this is the dot env folder env file where you can define your all the environment related configuration settings which you don't want to expose in the front end okay user cannot get that data as you can see the, i have used github client id client secret facebook client id okay and i have keep connected with the mongodb server uh, using this link and this is my database db new test so which you can see here and if i want to use db new uh, test 
uh, show collection so I have only one collection users so db dot users dot find don't do find specific one or erityt no not er e ty maybe double ty maybe oh yes so this is a way this is the way i can look my data in a pretty way actually so these are the my users with this which have name and email okay okay so let me open up my project so i can go to this link this is my this is my, my project is open here as you can see it automatically because i have used that auth module it automatically redirects me to this login page and you can log in with facebook or github or you can log in manually or if you can you can register so let me just first show you the authentication system and i have used uh, view lead it i have used uh, this is actually view bootstrap bootstrap view okay bootstrap with view uh, that's why and i have used view lead it this is uh, another plugin by using this you can you validate your inputs okay and if i click on register as you can see it shows that uh, user is already user should invalid email should be unique that's why it is showing that uh, so let's create a valid uh, unregistered user register real user so I think this user is not registered and if I click on register as you can see uh, registration successful and now I if I want I can register And if I click on login, as you can see, I have logged in uh, with, with this user. Okay, this is my home page. There is nothing there, but uh, I have just tried different things to learn about different features of Nuts.js actually by implementing these features. Uh, okay, and you can also sign out. As you can see, I have signed uh, and it redirects me to login page. And if you want, you can log in with GitHub and i have showed you that uh, i have uh, i have implemented the github client id client secret okay and if i try to log in with github as you can see if i click on this it shows it first gets the data and automatically redirects me to home page okay and if i click on sign out it redirects me to this so let me show you in a incognito incognito window test as you can see login and if i try to log in with github it, it will redirect me to as you can see sign in with github github page and i have uh, input uh, set up my credentials and signing in and automatically all application authentication is done and it redirects me to the home page okay and if i click on sign out and this i have signed out so everything is working and this is how I implemented the authentication system so let me show you some of the things that are important so everything starts from the NAST config.js file okay <coughs> you can define all your all of your configurations here so start from the beginning as you can see I have uh, you have seen that dot env file that dot env file is actually a dot env uh, dot env package actually dot env package which by using which you can define your env environment variables uh, i just uh, install that uh, dot env package and requires require this configuration by using this command and now i can use this command here okay process dot in i can access that data uh, by using this the okay, process dot env and and as you can see these are here you can define the meta tag 
uh, in the head actually this is the header part you can define different kinds of relation that means css and if you want to apply some javascript uh, if you want to apply some javascript i think you have to do that using your plugins okay in your plugins directory as you can see this is your plugins plugins to load before mounting the app okay I have used this plugins view with it to validate my form and view notification. Okay, view notification to that notification that shows. Okay, so let me show you the view with it how uh, just go to the plugins directory. Uh, where is the plugin? Plugin. This one, this plugins directory has two file, two JS file, and is validated as you can see. And I have implemented this way, and you will find that in the documentation of view uh, Same way for view notification JS, it also used the mini toaster. Okay, this is how I implemented the view notification and view And to use I have used this daily date to validate my inputs using uh, in my uh, form as you can see this is my form login form and here I have used the uh, login mixings uh, I have also used different kinds of mixings for login mixings mixings are used actually to uh, reuse reusable functionality same code can be used different multiple times in multiple components if you want so for that you have to use mixins and mixins as you can see this mix mixins are uh, resides in this contains in this component uh, this folder this mixins folder okay login mixins notification registration mixins and if you click on login mixins as you can see i have used the viewly dead validators from the viewly dead validators i have uh, imported this functionalities and use this uh, this by this way you can validate your inputs and I can use these files this mixings uh, in any component I want that is way that is the way I can dry up my code for the same thing for notification just as you can see for notification how can I use uh, this is how I use uh, computer property watches you can use different kinds of things if you want okay and one thing is for mutations uh, not for, uh, for mixings one thing is you have to take care of is that uh, for example this notification JS mixings it has a computer pro two computer property errors and success and if uh, in your page in your computer uh, in your component if this computer pro if you in your component if you have a computer property with the same name like errors or success then uh, that computer property will be get prioritized not this one that one will be prioritized so keep that in mind same thing for the error watches okay so that is what i want to show you and let's go back to max configuration we have implemented plugins like this and the mode for client i'm sure telling the plugins to use this plugin only in client side not in server side okay and yes it is use eslint module so yeah eslint module is using and this one ESLIM configure this ESLIM configuration saves me a lot of time to uh, pay, to maintain the right syntax actually right syntax or spaces okay following the standard it always automatically fix maximum of the uh, maximum of the uh, syntax related errors okay you can also configure this on your ESLint config ESLint RC.js this file. Okay, 
uh, you can apply different kinds of rules here as you can see I have implemented one rule here no console that means console log that is this uh, no error will be shown for this console log same way you can apply this one uh, fix auto this means it will be uh, whatever the errors uh, related to yes lint it will fix them automatically and it helps me a lot here then this is how you implemented different kinds of modules if you apply uh, for example next x years i have implemented x years bootstrap view nuts then nuts js auth module okay and dot env module as you can see these are different kinds of modules i have used for nuts js and implemented those dot env module is also there for nuts js you can use that and then for the authentication configuration is here with different strategies one strategy is local one strategy is bloom github one strategy is for facebook okay and for local local means you can log in with uh, local uh, username password okay and it will uh, i have used uh, J json web token jwt here it will auto uh, if you uh, login successfully okay if you login successfully using this post method it will automatically generate a token and give you back the token and it will store that token in your uh, vux store as you can see this is store folder in your store folder you have if i zoom out, zoom in as you can see in the store folder i have index.js file in index.js file you can uh, you have to in uh, activate you have to activate your vx store by just making creating a file uh, like this index.js and in index.js as you can see uh, you have to activate your index.js file and here you can define your state your getters mutations okay actions and because i because this is a modular approach uh, you can uh, create separate files for each of these things and apply uh, your vx store related things in different files okay you can export them import them here and it will work because this is in modular approach because uh, but now because uh, my project is a small that's why uh, that's why I implemented like this all these things in single file and I'm using VX store to do all this task and store the data if I need any data to store as you can see I have storing the errors okay in the mutations part first I'm defining the states and assigning different errors success user profile info if i get any user profile i can get them using here using this okay and this property name is very important uh, whatever the token token value if you want to access the token if you get the if you want to get the token uh, look for uh, whatever you're returning from your express uh, from your server side by creating the token in which format you have to grab that it will look for this value in this variable it will look for this variable okay and I have implemented this is way this is the way I have implemented the authentication here in and as you can see router we i have one uh, this auth module I, ha I have used the auth module right that auth module has a authentication system yeah, with name auth and i have made this auth module uh, auth middleware uh, implemented globally by this way you can implement this um, globally and you can configure your axios by here using this you can define your proxy if you want uh, 
and and one thing is that server middleware I have a server middleware what is that plugins this one server middleware this is very important uh, there are two types of middleware one is router based middleware that's why I defined that router based this is router based middleware okay this is router based middleware and this one is server based server side middleware server middleware this will be get prioritized first then it will go to the router based middleware so in the router servers or server side middleware you can define a path that uh, if any uh, link related to this link it goes then it will be handled by this file so i have created a file folder api in this folder i have created a file in js so any link that is related to this will be handled by this any link related to this will be handled by this one and by this way you can apply your server middleware here and it goes to the api folder index file and if you go to the api folder as you can see i have implemented different kinds of things i have models because i have used mongodb so i can define some schemas here and this is the files uh, for this uh, as you can see api slash index.js if you go to the api slash index.js this is the server side okay i have used express body parser cookie parser okay express body parser cookie parser json web express json web token and json web token decrypt to hash my password and i'm also storing all the password and you can see all of them uh, this is the password as you can see these are hashed and i have also i am also comparing them using my plain text whatever user give and this is how i implemented the mongodb i have connected to my mongodb account using this okay mongo.connect and the connect url is coming from the env file and everything is okay then it will, it will console log db is connected and by using this one uh, modular approach i i am importing the models actually schema okay this more model is in models dot users and if you go to the models dot users dot uh, users dot js and you can see first it implements mongoose imports mongoose then unique validator using the this is another mongoose uh, mongoose unique validator using this mongoose unique validator you can validate for unique field actually unique field like email password okay yeah, first i have defined that uh, this should be unique this email should be unique and i use the schema plugin with, with, the, with this plugin okay unique validator apply this unique validator to this schema using this plugin and then module dot exports this model by this way you whatever you first create this model and look at this as you can see this is user only single user but it will look for the data in the database it will look for a document a document names users that's why uh, if you go to the database as you can see here uh, uh, I showed you that show if I say show collections as you can see it has users not user okay so take that uh, keep that in mind and by this way I am importing that user model and using that user model uh, I this is uh, how I implementing the middleware actually the I'm applying the cookie cookie parser and JSON body parser JSON parse dot uh, body parser dot JSON to send JSON data and this is JWT middleware JSON web token middleware okay 
this is the secret name you can change the password this thing to anything any text this uh, by the by this text it will convert this text into a uh, hash uh, token actually okay and oh not middleware i am using the middleware here actually okay this is the post request and in the bottom if you go to the bottom as you can see module dot exports is equal to path is a slash api slash auth so that means if the request is a slash api slash auth then it will be handled by your app app means this express app okay now as you can see app dot post that, that means if there is a post request to slash login uh, first i am getting the email and password from my body and uh, check for user authentication as you can see user dot find with this email first i am finding with that email because email is unique because so that's why i can um, search with only email here if i get any error then i will uh, return response as you can see response to json return the json as error error as json actually user data is if it is not null then i am first comparing okay comparing the password whatever the password plain text password user we have given with the actual hash password in the database and if it matches and then i am making the access token this is the access token constant which is actually using the json web token to create a token actually with this uh, these data okay all these are es6 syntax actually then i am returning the json as you can see token dot token in the token i have the access token that's why I defined that using uh, on the server side where is that this one property name token dot access token okay and if anything goes wrong then it will show you invalid user invalid user and if it will automatically make a request because I am using auth module. Auth module will automatically make request to slash user to and return the actually request user. And if there is a post request to log out, it will just return auth status. Okay. But in the backend, it will automatically log out user and if there is a uh, here i am handling the errors if there is any error just return the response to json the error to see what is the error and this is an another server middleware which is handling this request if there is a request to a slash then it will be handled for handled by this app this is two instance actually two instance of express Where I just use the post request if there is a post request to slash register. As you can see, I am hashing the password first, and after getting the hash password, I am storing and creating a new user with the name, email, and password. And try to save them. If there is any error, then it will return response to the error, and otherwise, it will return the uh, new user. Okay. and try and if i go to as you can see i have pages directory and computed uh, components directory in the components directory i have defined just only the component which are which will i will use reuse different uh, pages and the most important thing is the layouts as you can see i have two layouts for 
the login registration page i am using this layout for the another general purpose use i am using this layout And on the pages directory, as you can see, what I want to show you. So these are the pages, and the pages directory, whatever computer uh, component you create, you know, pages directory files have many features. Okay, as you can see, I am using different kinds of mixins, importing them to try out my code. Actually, I am using the authentication login. I am using the maximum mix things. Okay. And these are the different kinds of methods. Okay. First, I am dispatching. I am using the your VX store to make uh, all the login system with through GitHub or Facebook. And one thing I want to show you is that on the profile page, just see different kinds of users. Okay, how I have used as you can see async data, async await. You can use async await system. Async await means uh, this will await means this will wait for this. Uh, this will pause actually. This will pause until. Async await means it will wait for this response. Okay, it will make this request and it will get the data and in an asynchronous way. Asynchronous way means it will let you go and run the next course, but it will also wait for this to happen. Return a response. That's why async await is used. Used, and fetch is used when you, if you want to store, if you want to commit something. That means if you want to fetch, if you, uh, you will use fetch only if you want to make a request to the server and get some data and fill your VX store. In that case, you will use the fetch. Otherwise, and if you want that, uh, you will uh, on the component creation before creating the component, before mounting the component, uh, make a request and then uh, store and fill the data in co uh, local data like this. Then you will use async data. Otherwise, you can use fetch to if you want to fill the VX store. Okay, these are two different important things. Okay, this is uh, another method I have used with async await. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. And don't please don't forget to subscribe.